Thank you for purchasing the Phaser DVR 3.02 video recording eyewear. This tutorial will help you set up and use your new glasses. Upon receiving your package, open it up and ensure that you have everything included. You should see a warranty card, a user manual, two USB cables, a cleaning cloth, a USB wall charger, and a protective carrying case. Upon opening up the carrying case, you should find a micro SD card with adapter, a pair of clear replaceable lenses, a pair of yellow replaceable lenses, and of course the Phaser DVR 3.02 video recording eyewear. Before using your new eyewear, please charge for up to 8 hours. Locate the USB connection on the left arm. Place the small end of one of the USB cables into this connection. Place the other end of the cable into the USB wall charger. Alternatively, you can place the other end of the USB cable into one of your computer's USB ports. While charging, on the glasses, both the blue and red lights will be on. Charging is complete when only the blue light remains. Once charging is complete, you are now ready to set up your new eyewear. The DVR 3.02 lenses have come with a protective plastic on the front and on the back. To remove this protective layer, pull on the lens straight down from the frame. Find the edge of the protective layer near the top of the lens and peel it away. Turn over the lens and repeat for the inside. Once both protective layers have been removed from the lens, Replace the lens back inside the frame by making sure the lens stays within the channels of the frame. Repeat these steps for the second lens. The Phaser DVR 3.02 comes equipped with a date and time stamp on both still photos and videos. To set the date and time stamp, you will need to synchronize the time on your computer with the time on the glasses. To do this, please remove the SD card from the glasses located near the USB connection. Insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card adapter and place this into your computer's card reader. If your computer does not have a card reader, then make sure that the micro SD card is inserted into the glasses. Connect the small end of the USB cable into the glasses and the larger end into your computer. The blue light will come on and flutter momentarily. Then the red light will come on to indicate the glasses are now charging. Please note that you have not yet installed the driver necessary to properly operate the glasses. Once the micro SD card is plugged into the computer, whether it's by the micro SD card adapter or via the glasses themselves, you should get a pop-up box similar to this one. Scroll down to the bottom and choose Open Folder to View Files. If you don't get a pop-up window like this, you can still access the micro SD card by going to My Computer, either on your desktop or in the Start menu. Double click on the removable disk. Once you've arrived at this window, you'll see one folder and two files. Choose the first file that starts with SPCA. This is the driver installation file. 
the install wizard will guide you through the rest of the installation. Once the software has successfully been installed on your computer, then choose the synctime.exe file. A small dialog box such as this will open up. Check the auto mode box and make sure that the small end of the USB cable is plugged into the glasses. Plug the larger end of the USB cable into your computer. The program will be waiting for a response from the glasses. In order to do this, press and hold the power button on the glasses for about three seconds. This will synchronize the time with your computer to the time on the glasses. If you are running Windows 7, you will need to run this program in compatibility mode. Please follow the following steps. Right click on the SyncTime.exe file. From the bottom of the context menu, choose Properties. From the tab at the top, called Compatibility, choose an option called Run this program for compatibility mode and choose Windows XP Service Pack 3. Once you've completed this, click Apply and OK. Now run the SyncTime.exe file to synchronize the time on your computer with the time on the glasses. Your glasses are now set up and ready to use. To turn the glasses on, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. The blue light will come on and flutter momentarily. Once you have a steady lit blue light, the glasses are in standby mode. Press the record button once momentarily to take a picture, or press it for a couple of seconds to start recording a video. While in video recording mode, the blue light will be blinking. When you want to stop recording a video, simply press the record button once. The blue light will become a steady burn and the glasses are now back in standby mode. To turn the glasses off manually, simply press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Now to see the kind of video these glasses take. Once you get the uh, video eyewear turned on and starting to record, go ahead and place them on your face. Once you get comfortable with turning the glasses on and off, you'll be able to uh, turn them on and off while they're already on and you'll know just when the, uh, the unit is on and you'll know when it's off and when it's recording and when it's not. In darker situations, you'll be able to see the light blinking. Uh, outdoors, of course, you won't be able to see that very well. Uh, so you may, just for confirmation, you may want to just slide them off and take a little peek and uh, just confirm that the glasses are in fact recording. But as I said, as you get more comfortable with the glasses, you'll be able to operate them without having the confirmation every time. So this is the kind of video and audio you can expect from the uh, Phaser DVR 3.02s. And when you're using these glasses, you'll want to make sure you're making very steady head movements and you may want to practice in front of a mirror or practice uh, looking at other objects just so that when it comes time to actually recording a video you know where the glasses are looking so um, if you're recording too high uh, you're not going to get what you want same thing if you're recording too low. So you want to make sure that you play around with them for a little while, getting comfortable with where your head needs to be pointed uh, in order for that camera right in there to be pointing in the right direction. So this is the Phaser DVR uh, 3.02 video recording eyewear.